Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. What we have here, we can take 6 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side. Now we have x raised to the power 6 minus 6 raised to the power 6 equals to 0 from here. That is here, yeah, we can as well write this as x raised to the power 3, then raised to the power 2. As 2 times 3 here give us 6, then minus. Also, we have 6 raised to the power 3, then raised to the power 2, now equals to 0 from here. Then here, this follows the difference of two squares. When we have a squared minus b squared, the same thing as a plus b into brackets and open bracket a minus b. Then from here, a is standing as x raised to the power 3. And b standing as 6 raised to the power 3. Then what we have here follow this and becomes x raised to the power 3 plus 6 raised to the power 3 into brackets. Then also open brackets x raised to the power 3 minus 6 raised to the power 3 plus bracket equals to 0 from share. Which implies here yeah, we have two possible cases now. That is x raised to power 3 plus 6 raised to power 3 equals to 0. Or we have x raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here. That is here. Yeah. Solving from this case follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is equals to a plus b into brackets. Then open brackets a square minus a b plus b square, which implies here yeah, this follows what we have. This becomes x plus 6 into brackets, then also open bracket x square minus 6x plus 6 square close brackets equals to 0 here. Yeah. That is. Same thing as x plus 6 into brackets, then open brackets x square minus 6x plus 6 square here, we have 36, plus brackets equals to 0 from share. Then here we have two possible cases. The first one we have x plus 6 equals to 0, or we have x square minus 6x plus 36 equals to 0 here. Then, solving from here, we have x equals to minus 6, which is a real solution here. Then on this side, we have a quadratic equation, where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 6, and c equals to 36. Applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a then what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 36 then all over 2 times 1 and solving here this becomes x equals to minus times minus is plus. So we have 6, then plus or minus square root of minus is square, same thing as 36, then minus. We can as well leave this as 4 times 36, then over 2 here. Then next step, we have x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 is common here. We can factor it out and we have into bracket 1 minus 4 left. Then all over 2, which implies here we have x equals to 6 plus or minus root 36 times 1 minus 4, that's minus 3 over 2. And we separate this root 36 is 6, and this becomes x equals to 6 plus or minus 6, here root minus 3, same thing as root 3i over 2 here. That is here. Yeah. 2 is common here. We have x equals to 2 into bracket 3 plus or minus 3 roots 3 
high then over to here that is here these two cancel each other so x now equals to 3 plus or minus 3 root 3i and here we have two complex solutions then solving from the second case here this follows what we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which is the same thing as a minus b into brackets then open bracket a squared plus a b plus b squared then what we have here follows this and becomes x minus 6 into brackets the open bracket x squared plus 6x plus 6 squared plus brackets then equals to 0 here that is from here as well we have two possible cases the first one we have x minus 6 equals to 0 or we have x squared plus 6x plus 6 square here which is 36 equals to 0 here then solving on this side this gives us x equals to 6 also a real solution here and here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1 b equals to 6 and c equals to 36 then applying the quadratic formula here we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 36 then over 2 times 1 then here yeah, this becomes x equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 square here that's 36 then minus 4 times 1 times 36 we can write that 4 times 36 then all over 2 here which implies here we factor 36 out and we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 36 into brackets 1 minus 4 left here then over 2 that is here yeah, same thing as x equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 36 times minus 3 over 2 then we can bring out root 36 as 6 that is we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus 6 root minus 3 same thing as root 3 high then over 2 here yeah. that is 2 can go here and 6 minus 6 and 6 so we have x equals to minus 3 plus or minus 3 root 3 i also here we have two complex solutions then all together here we have six solutions in this given problem this two real solutions here two complex solutions here and two complex solutions here and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments also join our membership package see you next class and bye for now